Uh, this is uh, our fibromyalgia number five, and uh, we'd like to send greetings to our friends in South America and in uh, uh, Northern Europe. We thank you for your attention. We had last time finished the first two demons, the uh, mercury, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the protein, the mercury, and the uh, virus bacteria combination, and the sulfur deficiency. The treatments and the success of the treatment causes. To fully understand the treatments given, it is best to restate the findings in these cases, many of which are complications or associated conditions found progressively in other conditions, including the demons. Protein amino acids deficiency, resulting in enzyme deficiencies, multiple spinal disc degeneration, toxic bowel, ileocecal valve, uh, dysbiosis. Uh, we have uh, great additions to that. We'll be talking to you when we finish this article. Chronic viral infection, particularly Epstein-Barr, chronic fatigue, uh, including bones. Calcium phosphorus low from lack of protein transport. Lack of proper transmitters and hormones, insulin, thyroid, serotonin, glutathione, DHEA, sex hormones from improper amino acid metabolism, and cholesterol metabolism. Sinus infections, viral, bacterial, yeast, fungal, other infections, bacteria. Lyme's disease. People are so worried about Lyme's disease. It's easy compared to some of these others. Uh, lack of phase one and particularly phase two detoxification mechanisms in the liver that allow heavy metals, mercury is the only one to remain in the body. This is where the lack of sulfur results in removal, failure, and glutathione inadequate production. So we have mercury and other heavy metals poisoning. We found the other heavy metals. Sulfur deficiency, altered body mechanics, crooked posture. Nobody knows how important that is because if you can maintain correct posture, the chances are you don't have this stuff. Vitamin and mineral deficiencies, essential fatty acids deficiency, antioxidant deficiency, subluxation, and that's the result of the category one distortion and with every discal lesion. The treatment. In treating any body problem, whatever magnitude, the goal is to supply the deficiencies. In the case of acute infections, additional supplementation may be added to counteract the invader. Boy, is that ever true. Therefore, in this condition, extra vitamin C, ascorbic acid, crystalline, minimum 3,000 along with an enzyme C complex, enzyme formulations, one with each 1,000 vitamin C is always added. The protein and sulfur problem is addressed with our U.S. and world patent pending Platinum Plus. We'll get the patents. Nothing that we have seen exceeds the spinal disc rebuilding and detoxifying ability of this nutrient. It is, in my opinion, and all the doctors who have the ability to monitor the removal of mercury from their patients, the treatment of choice at six per day. The spinal disc begin volumizing in 12 hours. Forget chondroitin and the other one. The dysbiosis and lack of HCL are normalized. The digestive enzymes are replenished, rearming the enzyme cascade from the pancreas in the individual. Page turn. The vitamin and mineral used is uh, uh, biotics, which we still use, and has no fillers and proved to be a reliable source of uh, the uh, uh, minerals and vitamins. And we've done millions of tests on this and we still use it. The essential fatty acids, which correct excessive inflammation, which with prostaglandin produce hormones, helps calcium into the cells. And we now have our own platinum uh, omega-3, omega-6, omega-9, which we use very effectively. Some case histories. Case number one, Mrs. E.P., the initial exam was 11-30-98. 65-year-old patient came with a diagnosis of FM and a possible peripheral neuropathy of the nervous system. This was a surprisingly good diagnosis considering the diagnostic tools available to her previous practitioners. They demonstrated the reliability of a careful neurological exam, although they didn't come up with the foggiest idea of what was going on. This patient had in the past 10 years seen 40 doctors 
F-O-R-T-Y, 40. She had a history of a very severe attack of scarlet fever and pain and aching everywhere. Allergy testing had previously targeted eggs, mushrooms, kale, kidney beans. She herself recognized no allergies. Her main treatment was ibuprofen. She was attending the local FM support group. Findings. TMJ, sulfur deficient, protein, amino acids deficient, positive Veb test, the entire spine was in a state of degeneration, osteoporosis was positive, multiple vitamin deficiencies, had depression, she had, she had salt deficiency, possible infection in teeth and jaws, all glands malfunctioning, fatty acids deficiency, positive Epstein-Barr virus, positive herpes simplex virus in all the joints and spine. Mercury poisoning was at the eight level. Strep infections in all joints and spine. Treatment was nutritional uh, as any physical work was uh, not able to be performed. And uh, we told her to lie low and uh, wait until she felt better. Uh, 12 12 most of the spinal discs had healed except in her neck. Mercury had moved favorably to the 10 level. She developed cold sores in her last uh, battle with the herpes virus, and it was no longer present in her body. Neither was the Epstein-Barr virus. The patient was still depressed, so we had added vitamin B. No more depression on 1799. Silver amalgam, 15 level, over 50% mercury removed. This patient reported she felt like dancing and she had not detoxified all the way as yet. All of this was accomplished in five weeks after she'd endured 12 years of misery. Case number two, Mrs. L.M., 38 years old, 12498. Her diagnosis of osteoporosis from surgical menopause was largely correct. This diagnosis did not explain, however, that she had the classic symptoms of the newest disease in town, fibromyalgia. She failed the 14 BEV test. The whole spine was going down the tubes. Does not sleep well, sometimes a few hours a night. Re renewed bone density study, not good. Uh, glands were swollen and very painful. She was taking uh, natural treatments of Congoplex, Comma Plus, homeopathic lymph drainage formula, had massive ear infections, osteoporosis in the neck, lower spine, left hip, and femur, positive Epstein-Barr virus, mercury poisoning at eight level, cytomegalovirus, sinus lung infection, she had pneumonia, strep infection, ears, sinuses, spine, most joints, infected teeth, depressant lymph blockage, amino acids and sulfur deficient, fatty acids deficient, yeast infection in the bowels, vagina, tonsils, and both ears. Salt deficient, thanks to the medical profession. This girl, mother, or more, had more species living inside her than the inhabitants of New York City. Furthermore, she had a provocative attitude and learned to use her symptoms to control her husband. When things didn't go her way, she'd cry. She did that when we assured her that we were in charge, not her. She was placed on uh, Platinum Plus and the multivitamins and all the things that she was deficient in. And uh, it took her two weeks to get up to full dosages, which is sometimes is the way it has to be. On 12-30-98, now able to take full amounts of the nutrients, that's a good sign, uh, erupted with cold sores all around her mouth and lips. Her body was now fighting for the first time. Lymph glands were swollen. Uh, hot flashes, much worse. Silver amalgam moved to 10 level. Cytomegalovirus also. Spinal disc healing, except for mid-spine. Upper jaw was still infected. 